Good morning teachers. I welcome all of you to the experiential online teacher training program that is being conducted by Dayat Tumkoro in collaboration with Caring with Color, a Manzi Kirloskar initiative. Today, we are all meeting here for the English training program that is being conducted for English teachers of both Tumkur and Madhugiri educational districts. Today's topic is nouns. Now, I request Dr. Prasanna Kumar to welcome all the teachers here and also introduce the facilitators of today's webinar. Hello, Namaskara. Diet Tumkuru Hago, Diet Madhigiri in the Nimelaru Swagata. Nimelaru English Nampada Madulne Hanta the Tarbetige Swagata by Stadeve. Nimikutira Hage, Jilla Shakenika Samadana Karakam Dadinelli, Bahadas to online Tarbetigana, caring with color some stay. Eldu diet la Sayo de Limarta Bandide Nimundirta Kanta Sugamukar Nella Perche Marcotini Nano Mudulunamge, Sonia teacher Ridare, Bugundi Tumkurinda, Mate Vivek Saridare, Aukur Tumkurna Kunduru Shalenda, Mate caring with color in the Sumaya Saista Ridare, Mate Asha Ridare, Arjote Maria Ridare. So is two Jana, Bola Vundu Hadane de Nigrinda, Parishama Patu, Madil Tire in the Edu other. Practice in a Madi Nimu the Prasta Padastare, Nimgi Yene, Sunday Hagridre, Chat Paxali, Uri Nirwagi, Ali Chat Paxal Barita Hogi, Atua, Prashnotara Visha Bandaga, E. Session Mudaga, Ali Kuda Nimu Prashnagana, Ked Bodu, Bo Nimi the Baka Hitchin Maiti Bekadre, Nama WhatsApp group in Black Boys either way, Nimanima Talokova, WhatsApp group in Madidivi, Alu Kuda Nimu Prashnagana, Kodbodu, Al Sampanmula Victilla Gadzi, or in the Nimia Samaka Kutra Kurso Tekilsana. Marteve, so Yella uh Sampamal Victor Lini Dare to Sugumka Reni Dare, our Parishama uh Shubwagli Mata e Eldu Prastutigalu uh Chanag Nadili in Taharesta, Nanamatana Mugustene, Namaskara. Good morning, everyone. Here are two teachers in the staff room. Come, let us see what they are up to. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning of Fun and Learning. Good morning, Vivek. It is nice to meet you after such a long time. Same here. What did you do during the lockdown? Mm, Vivek, I was stuck at home throughout, but I... Okay. Tell me that one thing you couldn't live without during the pandemic. Well, Vivek... I couldn't live without my phone. What about you? Yes, my phone was very important too, but I could do without it. Let's ask our teacher friends what they couldn't live without during this pandemic. Yes, Vivek. Dear teachers, what is the one thing you couldn't live without during the lockdown? Please respond in the chat box. I request all the teachers to type in your responses. Okay, I could see some of the responses coming up. Oh, TV. My friends are telling mask. Good. That's wonderful. Now, dear teachers, let us make it more interesting. We want you to create an animal by combining the features of any two animals and giving it a name. For example, if you take a butterfly, and an elephant and combine them to make a new animal that it will be elephly. I request teachers to type in your responses by creating an animal. Friends, you can create a name of an animal by combining the features of any two animals and give it a name. Wow, good, a liger, that's great. Yes, teachers, we want some more, yes. Wow, creative responses we are getting. It's so nice to see how creative our teachers are. Sure, Vivek. Okay, thank you, friends. Come, now let me introduce you to my friend, Naunita, who is very fond of nouns. Just as her name suggests, 
and see what was the one thing she couldn't live without during the pandemic and what animal she has created. Welcome, Naunita. Hi, friends. I'm Naunita. I just couldn't live without jackfruit. I just love jackfruit. And luckily for me, I have a huge tree in my backyard. So there was never a day without jackfruit. Wow, jackfruit. And what is the animal that you have created, Naunita? The animal is penguin. It's a combination of a penguin and a kitten. Wow, that's very creative too. Thank you, Vivek. Now, if you realize, we just coined a new name for an imaginary animal. And everything my hand touches, the people I love so much, a place to go and shop, and the animal who loves to hop, all have names. And all their names are called nouns. Oh, yes. I just realized that you love nouns too. Yes, Vivek. I do. Let's take our teachers on a tour to show them what nouns are. Let's look at two types of nouns. And the first one is common noun. Common nouns are words used for a non-specific place, person, idea or object. Common nouns are not capitalized. For example, the farmer is hard working. Namnita, can you identify the common noun in this sentence? Mm, Vivek, is it a farmer? Yes, you are right, Namnita. The second example is the students ate dinner at a restaurant. What is the common noun in this sentence? Mm, students and a restaurant as well. Fine. There are no trees in this village. Can you identify the common noun? Uh, trees and village. Very fine, Naunita. So the second type of noun is proper noun. Proper nouns are words used for a specific place, person or object. We should remember that the first letter of a proper noun is always capitalized. This distinguishes it from the common form of the same noun. For example, Radha is an astronaut. So Vivek, can you guess which is the proper noun here? I think it is Radha, right? Yes, Vivek. The second is, I have a house in Bengaluru. So Vivek, tell me which one the proper noun here? The proper noun in this sentence is Bengaluru. Yes, Vivek. She owns a Samsung mobile. So what about this one, Vivek? It's very easy, Naunita. I too own a Samsung mobile. The proper noun in this sentence is Samsung. Wow, Vivek, you got all of them right. Now, Vivek, can you please share some activities to help students understand and learn proper nouns and common nouns? Yes, Naunita. Now we have with us Sonia and Maria who will take us through some activities. Welcome Sonia and Maria. Thank you Vivek and Navnita. Let us look at the first game that we have here called the noun stick game. Wow, this looks colorful. How do we play this Maria? See, what we need to do is write names of different things on ice cream sticks. Jumble them and keep them in one cup. Then take four more cups and name them person, place, thing and animal. Now the students must pick up each stick and place it in the correct cup. Oh, can I try the first one? Sure, Sonia, go ahead. The first stick here is Mysuru and Mysuru is the name of a place. So, I need to place it in the cup with place written on it. Okay? That's right. See, you've got it correct. In this way, students become aware 
that the name of every person place animal or thing is called a noun hmm what is this game it looks very colorful well this is a very interesting and an interactive game one can play in their classroom all you need as teachers is this sheet and dice you roll the dice and must speak about what is in the first block of the corresponding row oh i have a dice with me can i roll it sure sonia go ahead mm oh i got two two okay so you need to make a list of the things that you saw today well i saw a bus a car a book a table excellent i saw a truck too what if i get two again uh then you need to talk about the things that are asked in the next block and if you realize all these words are names of things and the names of things are called nouns oh thank you maria that was fun well let's move on to a next game which is a bingo game now for this as the teacher you would require a common set of questions and an equal number but different sentences containing nouns for the students and the bingo cards just as the ones that you see here so how is this played well to play bingo with the learners you have to read out one sentence at a time from the instructor set the students will then look at the sentences that they have and identify the nouns in each sentence now each time a learner finds a noun they will mark a dot or a cross or a tick in the corresponding box in the bingo card i think we should try this once well now for example in the sentence govind is eating what type of noun is govind mm govind is a proper noun and it's for a person excellent and you need to add a dot or a tick under person there now in the next sentence guitar is a thing hence you will mark a dot or a cross on the thing box in the bingo card then who will be the winner the learner who gets a full row of words wins the game hmm thank you maria everybody get ready for the poll question now the question is appearing on your screens now i live in an apartment in bangalore with my family i repeat i live in an apartment in bangalore with my family identify the statements that are correct option a the options are apartment should start with a lower case a b in bangalore should be made lower case family and bangalore should start with a lower case family should start with a lower case well teachers this is a multiple choice so you can have more than one answer for this question it can be b and c or a and b or a and b please select any two answers or maybe more if you think it is correct and click on the submit button i can see a lot of you participating but i want everyone to answer the question well most of our participants are participating i request everybody to participate please so most of our teachers have selected a and d and that is correct a and d uh since a is a in the apartment and family are common nouns that is why they should be in lower case well done teachers now let us look at a few activities that the children in our classroom will enjoy 
what is this here i didn't know batman was from london <laughs> well that's the catch here this is a fun and interactive game to revise common nouns and proper nouns maria can you explain how sure see students in your class you have to tell them to prepare an i card now this i card should not have their name but should have the name of their favorite uh, star maybe a cricketer or a film actor or an actress or a singer or a superhero then they have to write down the place they want to live in or they wish to live in and what is their favorite food that they like to eat once they do this students introduce themselves with their made up name and the place they want to live in and the food that they love to eat oh with this we can explain the difference between proper and common nouns absolutely now let us look at a few more games now for this activity we need a number of flash cards with us with different images on them can you give me a few examples well um the flash cards can have images of trees pens pencils chairs etc okay now all these flash cards that you prepare you need to put it in one bag and students need to pick up a flash card from the bag and identify the thing first and then tell the corresponding proper noun of the same item that they have picked now for example if i tell you now if i have picked up a flash card which has pencil on it i will say this is a pencil and to give it a proper noun i'll say this is a natraj pencil okay so we take a common noun and give it name that's a proper noun absolutely now come let's see what happens to the nouns when they are more than one navnita and vivek will explain it to us singular and plural nouns when we talk about one person place idea or thing we call it a singular noun so when we talk about two or more persons two or more places two or more ideas or two or more things we refer to it as the plural nouns vivek now i remember that most nouns when in their plural form they end with an s okay but what are these magnets doing here navnita this looks like a very different magnet oh that's an s magnet vivek what does the s magnet do uh the s magnet gets attracted to plural nouns let's see how it works so when it is single it is apple and when it is more than one they become apples okay so now i get it to make the noun plural we need to add an s s yes, exactly so here are some of examples of nouns ending with yes vivek can you read them out along with me please sure navnita singular ship plural ships train trains owl owls bicycle bicycles helmet helmets photograph photographs and the plural of fan is fans navnita what about bus do we say two bus as it already ends with an s no we wait for that we have another magnet come let's have a look at it let me introduce you to another special magnet that is the es magnet 
when singular nouns end with ch sh yes ss or x we usually add es to form the plural oh so that's why the s yes magnet wasn't working for me yes can you give me more examples of these words sure navnita i remember the plural form of bus is buses glass is glasses brush brushes watch is watches wow that's correct vivek navnita where are you going now i am going to a special class that is grammarmatics grammarmatics yes i remember that you told me about this last week what did you learn there vivek i learned that one singular noun plus another singular noun equals a plural noun oh very fine navnita you look very happy and excited today yes i just went to a garden and i saw many flowers and the butterfly there and i remembered what i learnt in the grammarmatics class what is that navnita let me know come let's see vivek when a noun ends with y you can change them to plural by changing y to i and adding yes oh so that means two butterfly are called butterflies yes vivek let's look at some more examples so baby in its plural form is babies one family and many families and the plural of fly is flies so baby in its plural form is babies then more than one key will be wait we wait when nouns have a vowel before the y the s magnet gets attracted to it oh just like that one toy and many toys one day and many days yes come let me show you what else i learnt now if one is a leaf then many are leaves wow navnita is this a new equation yes we wake nouns ending with f you can change them to plural by replacing f to v and adding es okay we have already seen that leaf in its plural form is leaves similarly one calf and many cows one wolf and many wolves friends everybody get ready for the poll question the question is appearing on your screens now so here is a polling question one night i heard a pack of dash howling our cow had just given birth to a dash i was worried about it i wanted to go out and check but i was hungry i opened the kitchen cupboard and found two dash of bread so here are the options the options are a wolf cows loaves wolves option b wolves calf loaves option c wolves cows loaves please put your answers in the poll question window friends and click submit to register your answer navnita many of our teachers are very creative and intelligent too 
Yes, they are answering correctly, it seems, Vivek. Please put your answers in the poll window. Don't type anything in the chat box. So some of them are giving A, some are mentioning B, and some are mentioning C. I request my friends to please poll their answers, but not in the chat box. I request more and more friends to answer in the poll itself. After that, you can give submit button. The polling ends in 10 seconds from now. Now, Neeta, see, a lot of our teachers have answered it correctly. The correct answer is B. Well done, teachers. A few words have very irregular forms in the plural. For example, one person and many people, one tooth and two teeth, one mouse and a hundred mice. Okay. A few plural nouns are the same as the singular noun. Like one sheep and many sheep, one deer and many deer, and one fish and many fish. Yes, Navnita. You know, a few nouns are always plural. Like pants, shoes, glasses, etc. Now, Sumaya, will you know to how to play a Sherlock nouns as I said last time? Please introduce us to the new game. Yes, Vivek. I'm sure you have heard of Sherlock Holmes. Yes, Sumaya, I know about him. He is a famous detective from London. I have watched a few of his movies. Yes, Vivek. He is a famous detective. Now, it is time you become detective. Vivek, you could help me play this game. Sure, Sumaya. What do I have to do? Vivek, some pictures of nouns are shown for you, such as baby, apple, bee, etc. Observe the pictures carefully. Okay. Okay, now look at the pictures in front of you. As you can see, some of them are missing. Try to recall and identify as many missing pictures as you can. Sumaya, I do not have such a good memory. But I think uh, the baby is missing. You're right, Vivek. Apart from the baby, apple and balloons are also missing. Oh, yes. That was simple, Vivek, wasn't it? It was a simple game, Sumaya. The next one won't be easy as this. Now, dear teachers, it's your turn. Observe the pictures in front of you. I will give you 20 seconds to do so. I hope, Vivek, you are observing it too. Yes, Sumaya. I am also observing the pictures carefully. I hope our teachers are observing as well. Now, teachers, please mention in the chat box what pictures are missing from the previous slide. Please type in your answers in the chat box. Yes, I could see some of the responses coming up. Yes, hat, balloon, butta. Wow. This look wonderful. Our teachers are responding. I request the teacher to type in the missing pictures that you could recall from the previous slide. Yes, I could see many of the teachers responding. I want everyone to respond in the chat box.
that's correct teachers the missing pictures are buddha bear cap and a bat and ball thank you friends now teachers let's raise the difficulty level a little more and the slide will stay for another 20 seconds i request you to observe the slides carefully and type in the missing pictures friends observe the pictures carefully and type your answers in the chat box and see yeah sumaya this seems a little difficult for me yes some pictures are missing friends now can you help me by typing the missing pictures in the chat box yes vivek but our teachers have already started answering i could see many of the responses coming up they'll become good detectives you know yes sumaya they have already started answering i request the teachers to type in your answers in the chat box i could see a wonderful response here well teachers all of you made a good effort at being a great detectives the pictures missing in the last slides are camel basketball bee shuttlecock bell and the birthday cake thank you sumaya we all had fun being detectives we also realized that each of these missing pictures are nothing but nouns now let's move on and look at some giveaway activities that we can implement in a classroom sure vivek let's take up the first giveaway activity that is identifying the objects in this activity the students must identify as many objects around them as possible and write their singular and plural forms for example if there is one pencil they have to write the plural form pencils if there are three children write the singular form child oh this way they will be able to revise the spellings of the singular and plural forms of the nouns yes vivek you are right now let's take up the second activity which is describing the noun in this activity the students need to describe each of the words identified in the activity 1 using singular and plural nouns for example if the word identified in the previous activity was dog then the dog can be described as it has a nose two eyes four limbs and a mouth etc thank you sumaya friends we now move on to the last but not the least topic article sonia and asha will take over from here welcome sonia and asha thank you vivek so asha what did you have for breakfast today uh well sonia i had and banana and a apple do you think what you said is correct it doesn't sound right why not sonia banana has an in it and apple begins with a well that is true but there are few rules we need to follow here as well a few more rules what are those yes but these are easy to remember are you ready yes i am articles are used to indicate the number of singular nouns and to specify which noun is being talked about okay sonia then 
Why is and banana wrong? I was talking about just one banana here, no? Well, let us look at it in a more detailed way. Now, remember, there are two types of articles. Yes, I remember. One is definite and another one is indefinite articles. That's correct. Let us look at indefinite articles first. Okay. They are used in relation to nouns that are unspecified or undefined. The indefinite article an is used before nouns that begin with vowels or vowel sounds. Can you give me some examples? Oh, so it is an apple, an eye, and an umbrella? Yes. So now you understand what I said it didn't sound quite right? Yes. So can I guess when we use the article a? Uh? Yes, go ahead. The indefinite article a uh, is used before nouns that begin with consonants or consonant sounds like a banana. That's right, Asha. Can you give me a few more examples? Like a dog, a snake, a pineapple and a chair. As I mentioned before, words are called articles or determiners or used when we refer to singular nouns. So we say a river, a house and an egg. That's correct, Asha. You know, just like a few people we see who do not follow rules. We have some words too that do not follow the rules. For example, university and uniform start with the oval, but they do not start with the oval sound. So we use the article a uh, in front of university and uniform. On the other hand, some words do not begin with a vowel, but they begin with a vowel sound like in honor, our, etc. So, what is a definite article, Sonia? Well, the definite article, the, is used in relation to nouns that are specific or well-defined or already mentioned in the conversation. Like the banana I had for breakfast was a little raw? Yes, that's correct, Asha. And also, the is used to refer to a particular or specific person, place, thing or idea. For example, the Himalayas. Now, over to Vivek and Maria. Thank you, Sonia and Asha for explaining articles to us. Dear teachers, now we have a simple question. Please type in your answers in the chat box. You need to tell us the missing article in the sentence. The sentence is, Ravi goes to office by bus. It takes him dash R to reach there. I repeat, Ravi goes to office by bus. It takes him dash R to reach there. Vivek, before you could finish telling the question, our teachers have already put in their answers. And I'm telling you, everybody is telling the right answer. You know, so Maria, I, think, I said yeah. you one thing that our teachers were very creative. Yes, and I think we need to thank Asha and Sonia for teaching them so nicely. Thank you, Sonia and Asha again. Wow, all of them have written the right answer here. Not one wrong answer. Everybody is saying it is an. Very good teachers. I think all of you have answered it correctly. And yes. 
how smart our teachers are so the missing article is definitely an so the sentence should be read as ravi goes to office by bus it takes him an hour to reach there well done teachers thank you teachers friends let us look at a board game which we can play in the class to revise the use of articles wow what is this it looks something like a snake and ladder but i can't see snakes or i can't see the ladder as well maria don't worry i'll teach you how this is a board game where students review a and and the by completing true or false statements and talking about various topics for 30 seconds players take turns to roll the dice and move their counter along the board wow can i try i have dice with me should i roll it sure maria go ahead hey i got one what should i talk about Maria if you land on a true or false square you need to complete the statement with the correct article and read it to the group if you do this correctly then you score a point if the statement is correct the other group members guess whether it's true or false for the player okay so the statement i see here is I saw dash interesting film recently. Here, I think I need to add an. So the statement will be read as I saw an interesting film recently. That's correct, Maria. And I know that you watched a film last week as well. Yes. Now you get one point, Maria. Hey, that's awesome. Uh, what if I land on? a talk about square maria if you land on a talk about square then you need to complete the talk about sentence with the correct article for one point if the sentence is correct you would need to talk about the topic for 30 seconds for an extra point when you reach the finish the game ends the students with the most point wins the game Wow that was really fun thank you so much vivek thank you maria it's a pleasure so today friends we learned what nouns are and some of the types of nouns such as common and proper nouns we also learned the singular and plural of nouns and the rules applicable when nouns are changed to their plural forms lastly we saw what articles are and how they are related to nouns now if you choose to use these ideas and activities in your classroom not only will you be engaging your students but you will also fulfill the prescribed learning outcomes by the ncert as you can see these are some grade level learning outcomes for grades 4 to 7 that are mapped to the ideas and activities covered in this webinar a heartfelt thanks to all the facilitators who gave a very impressive class on nouns now it comes to teachopia teachopia bandu caring with color na initiative alli develop agiruvanta ondu application agide This is available on Play Store also. Uh, Teachopia is containing the lesson plans for all the classes from fourth to seventh on all the chapters. Teachers can access the lesson plans for English classes through this Teachopia. And with respect to nouns, we have lesson plans for grade four, five, and seven. regarding the household articles hobbies profession love for animal the child who saved the forest children of courage and bravery awards my land healthy life avoid plastics and much more 
A heartfelt thanks to all the teachers who are actively participating throughout the webinar and giving us your valuable feedback.